Well, today, friends, I am lighting the candle and getting my tea and getting cozy for fall. I'm doing a nighttime cleaning and early fall decorating. So it's that season, it's a little bit rainy. It's just time to get a few fall touches out. I'm not pulling out my pumpkins yet and I'm not pulling out um, the pumpkin baking yet, but it's just a nice time right before end of August, early September, that I like to just get a few early touches and with some very natural elements at that. So first thing I do is light my candle, get my good earth tea and close my curtains and then get to cleaning the kitchen after my girls are down for bed and I just get the lights off, turn on just a few lamps and little side lights and just get going on the nitty gritty on some areas. So just little spaces like the microwave, the stove and just getting a few of the kitchen touches cleaned up before I put out some fall decor. For a deeper clean on my stove, I do use Barkeeper's Friend, but this is just more of a light touch as I just wanted to get some of the day's grime off of there. fun mustard colored towel that I got from our local bin store for a dollar. I love having neutral colors and some mustard in my home with copper for my kitchen and then some of my other areas. So moving on to the counters and my little built-in shelves in my kitchen. Moving all the water bottles and I have my granola on the counter that I had made that is cooling. So it is a chocolate coconut granola. I've shared that recipe before, but I'll try to remember to put it in the description box for you too. Also dumping out some of my fresh flowers. They are fading slowly in my cottage style garden. So I thought I better take some of those down. I still have a few fresh flowers around my house, but I wanted to do this shelf with some more of my simple fall touches. So if you're new around here, the majority of my home decor is thrifted um, antiques or vintage finds, rummage sale finds. I really don't buy new a whole lot and I just love adding faux eucalyptus to these vases I have around my home that I have collected throughout the years and the eucalyptus I got off of Amazon so I can link that for you as well. But just adding some simple greens and then it's time to move to my wire basket shelves I have next to my piano. And those were a $2 score years and years ago that I spray painted a matte gold color and hung on my wall. So I really didn't decorate much for summer. Summertime for me is a lot of outside and so I didn't end up really switching out my decor. So I had some spring type pictures still up. So it's time to wipe some things down and to add a little bit different color scheme with the earthy tones. So using Crocs, a brown farmhouse scene picture, and then again some more of these eucalyptus stems. Just as very simple and neutral. And by the time I do my fall decor tour, things may change by then. But also some natural elements. I found these beautiful feather stems um, out at our local lake when I was mulberry picking actually. And I just broke them off of whatever they were growing on. I don't even really know what they are, but they are beautiful and just a great way to add a free decor piece. Mm -hmm. 
So this vase here is one I found at an antique store that was really dirty and I just was able to wash it up and get it clean and then I can add some of these reeds to it as well and I only had one more so maybe I'll have to go out and find a few more. So I just added some more of the sticks I had from our um, little willow trees we have in our backyard as well that I had had for spring decor. As you can see, this area is very spring-like with some of those roses and the picture on the wall. But I guess it did transition into summer pretty well because my roses bloom all summer long. So again, just wiping things down and I'm going to be adding another one of those farm scenes that's kind of fall-like with the wood frame and just kind of the neutral color palette. All right, to my built-ins. So this area, I have kind of left very similar and just kept the basis with my Crocs, some books, some old vintage pictures, and I'm just going to be adding some eucalyptus. But of course, again, that wiping down, when you change out decor, this is a great time to get everything wiped down. Dust collects, even if you dust every week, it's just time to, again, do another more thorough wipe down of all the things that you probably don't always just pick up and wipe the outsides and insides of. Alright, to my throw pillows. My pillows are very summerish with the stripes and the florals. So I'm adding some thrifted pillows I found at a church rummage actually. One is the pillow and then one was the pillow cover. And these are from Harmony House. They're a local um, company from um, the bigger city where I'm from. And they are just beautiful covers. And I do like to decorate with blues quite often in my home, but these darker ones I felt like just really called out fall and maybe I could find a third one of a mustard color or something to go in with that, um, that combo that I have as well as that blanket. After all of those little touches in that cleaning, it's time to put my granola away and just kind of set the kitchen for the night and call it an evening. So I hope you enjoy just these simple fall touches with thrifty natural decor and that you can feel inspired to decorate your home with what you have in whatever style you feel suits you. Love you guys and talk with you in the next one.